Hey, what is up guys? So today I want to talk about taking Yu-Gi-Oh seriously because this guy in chat was lighting up a star and I was like, you know what, this is going to be a great topic. The duel started about 10 seconds ago, but uh, for the most part, just me dumping on the guy playing Klee's. But anyways, if you guys want to make the video in HD and read everything, go for it. But anyways, um, I'm doing some more ranked in Yu-Gi-Oh and usually I don't like to record the ranked stuff because I have a lot less fun doing the the, uh, the small like, you know, meta plays that, uh, you know, everyone has already seen. But, uh, you know, for me, enjoying the game is more so about just doing crazier replays, so in crazy FDKs, doing crazy things that no one would ever think of, and I think that's more entertaining. I think, uh, you know, uh, my channel is more about entertainment than uh, solely just the competitive game. Now, I used to play a lot more competitively. Um, if you guys want to want, want to watch a video, I'll have a link down below in the description box. It was back, I think, about last year uh, when I was uh, taking Yu-Gi-Oh! more seriously. I got uh, sixth place in Dev Pro in the world. So uh, there's a video on that too for proof if you guys want to check it out. And there's going to be people like, oh my gosh, but on Dev Pro it, it doesn't matter. You have access to all the cards. And I think, good. Like, if if your opponents can't afford the cards and you're winning because of that, I think that's kind of dumb. The guy even here, he says this game's pay to win. On Dev Pro, you can't pay to win. It doesn't do anything for you. Um, you get to like re reset your uh, like name or something like that. That's I think that's, and you can change your sleeves or something like that. But you you all have access to all the same cards. So I don't know why that guy was complaining about that. But it's, it's so dumb that the guy was complaining about playing against Klee's and Rink. Like, if I was playing against Burning Abyss, I really hate that matchup because, you know, Fire Lake is Fire Lake. But the thing is, if I make Killer, sometimes you just automatically they quit because they have literally zero outs to it. But anyways, um, taking Yu-Gi-Oh! seriously. Now, unfortunately, you cannot make a living by going to every YCS and selling all of the, the prize cards. That just unfortunately does not work. But I think it's okay to take Yu-Gi-Oh seriously, and I kind of troll with the guy in chat. But um, you know, if this is your main source of income, whether you vend cards or you play card play for money, I think Yu-Gi-Oh can be taken seriously. Those are the times to take Yu-Gi-Oh seriously, and some people enjoy just taking games, uh, you know, more seriously. But the thing is, like, the fact that this guy is complaining about uh, Klee's and Rank is so dumb. It's like if you play League of Legends and you're like, oh, you know what? I I start out with Doran's Blade and Pot. Oh my gosh, what a horrible person! I should not. I should only start out with like Amplifying Tome as ADC. Like I need to, I need to do innovative stuff in ranked. Like if, when you go into ranked, you should be expecting you know meta decks. That's the point of ranked. You know, there's a fun section, the, the unranked section. Even though sometimes I bring in the stupid decks into ranked, uh, as some of you guys know from the live stream, I will ruin my own rank for the sake of entertainment. And uh, you know, I do that all the time just for the sake of having fun in the game, doing stupid plays. And some people are like, "Oh my gosh, Asian eyes, you're so bad at this game." But I like to have a lot more fun with the game, and that's how I have more fun. But like I said, you know, I can go into rank. I I could probably get first place, and I'll try again uh, this season. Um, and uh, like I said, if you guys want to prove uh, I was six, you can go ahead and check the description box. There's a video on that too. But uh, that was back when Shadals were like the best deck. Nothing can beat it. The guy ends up trolling himself and just like burning himself with Soul Charge. But I like to know, guys, do you think you should take Yu-Gi-Oh seriously? Why or why not? Uh, personally, for me, I think you can take the game seriously, especially if you're a vendor. But as far as a player, I don't see a point other than maybe bragging rights, which, you know, it's always cool to brag to your friends and be like, you know what, I'm the number one Beyblader in the world or something like that. But anyways, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. But thanks for watching, guys. Asian Ice, signing out.